Hello, it's your boy from 1996, right episode of Low Standards. In this episode, we'll be tackling an interesting game, to say the least. Uh, let me get to it. Ah, yes, it should be here. Ah, it's weirdly in the puzzle, uh, section for some reason, but here we are. If I just get to it, please. There you go. Teletubbies, yeah! I remember that show. I even have more questions than the last time this happened. Well, anyways, welcome to Teletubbies, where you play as, as uh, Tipsy in what I can only assume is, uh, it's, it's just, it's just Mario Brothers. It's Mario Brothers. It's Mario Brothers, and you cannot be tricked by such things. Impossible. Yeah, this is Mario Brothers, alright? Just simple as it is. I guess for some odd reasons, uh, Tipsy, and I'm thinking Player 2 must be Tinky Winky, enter into an altered dimension, and now we're in Mario Brothers. I've seen stuff like this before in one of my, uh, on my, uh, multi my multi cart, uh, my cousin had, um, for the GBA a long time ago. There was one specifically with the Final Fantasy characters from the first Final Fantasy being, I believe, the, the warrior, the fighter class, and I'm assuming it's Steve for, um, for player two, unless it's just a recolored, um, it's just a recolored, uh, warrior. Yeah, welcome to Teletubbies. Clearly, as what it is on the tin. Oh, fudge me. Nice, I got them all. Booyah. Yeah, that's clearly Mario, as for, as foretold by the ancients. Alright, we should now be dealing with the, uh, what the? Oh, I guess it has an extra life thing. Now we're dealing with, uh, side steppers besides, uh, shell creepers. Yes, I know what the Mario enemies in this game. Will these enemies ever come back unless it's an obstacle for Mario courses? Mario Kart courses? No. You can never assume that. I wonder if they're ever gonna be in the Game Boy Advance version of the game, which had a lot more different enemy varieties. I believe it's just shell it's just shell creepers and sidesteppers with the original game. Give me a second while I get my coin. I always like the stage in this game, uh in the uh, Smash Brothers Brawl game. Um that's my favorite brawl game. The stage in Super Smash Brothers Brawl when it's first introduced. Particularly just the music itself. I really like the mu uh, the Mario Brothers music, despite, you know if it's better that people most mostly would choose the more recognizable Super Mario Brothers. But I digress. Did they ever do this again in future Mario games? Besides, of course, uh, the last time I've, I've seen some, uh, Nintendo do this was uh, uh, the underground section in Super Mario, not Super Mario, but Mario Luigi uh, uh, Superstar Saga. When you're dealing with one of the Mario enemies from the, uh, from the, uh, from, uh, shit. So the areas from the from the Game Boy Advance version, which was ironic because it came it was came bundled in with uh, Mario and Luigi. Oh, never mind. The flies have always been in the game. I just never really encountered them in the original NES uh, or arcade originals. I also encountered them early on in um, in specifically in uh, well, they're loud. It's also hard to tell because they're flickering. It's mostly because of the realm itself. But I'm, I mostly encountered them very early back then playing on uh, the Mario Brothers uh, remake. Oh, there's the fireball we never saw. I don't know how long I'm going to make this episode. I was just was playing until eventually I die off. I guess I'll do it when we get to the next bonus stage. I already went super far into the original NES Mario Brothers. Alright, side steppers. I'll just go the other way around. Oh, I didn't knock him over, now he's faster. Nope, not for long. Alright, where is he? No. Take that. Nice. 
Oh, we got ice now. I forgot Freezy's also made a debut in this game. Oh, God. Ice physics. Ah, I didn't get all of them. Now we got a sad tipsy. Well, actually, it looks more like a... No, I, I, I realize I've been saying the name wrong. I've seen Tipsy, I meant Dipsy. I re with the color scheme of this, uh, of the game on the, uh, CRT, it kind of looks like, uh, La La instead. Well, that's it for this episode. I don't want to continue any further because we, like I said, I was going to do this until I get to the next bonus stage. I'm guessing freezes don't come, uh, appear until later on. But anyways, that's it for this episode. Bye.